is France 24's very own book critic, Cathy Kadir Clifford. Good to see you, Cathy. Uh, first of all, tell us about the two winners. So Polish author Olga Tokitsuk for 2018 and Austrian author Peter Hadke for 2019. Uh, let's hear a bit more um, from the Swedish Academy on why they picked these two European authors. The Nobel Prize in Literature for 2018 is awarded to the Polish author Olga Tokarczuk for a narrative imagination that with encyclopedic passion represents the crossing of boundaries as a form of life. The Nobel Prize in Literature for 2019 is awarded to the Austrian author Peter Handke for an influential work that with linguistic ingenuity has explored the periphery and the specificity of human experience. So Olga Tokertsuk has written several best-selling authors. Uh, she's known for blurring between the mystical and the real. Um, she won the Booker International Prize in 2018. Um, she's a strong critic of the Polish right-wing government, and she's even received death threats um, for criticizing certain aspects of uh, the country's history, including episodes of anti-Semitism. Um, I'm actually currently reading her novel, uh, Drive Your Plough Over the Bones of the Dead, and I'm only a chap few chapters in, but I'm actually already in love with this author, I think. It, Is this the one she won the prize for? Um, that was actually, uh, she was being nominated three times. Oh, and right. I think she won the prize for... for um, and this is the one you're reading right now? Exactly. Okay. Uh, and she's just created such a unique and original voice in this novel, which is full of uh, eccentric humour, so I do recommend it. And moving on, uh, Austrian author Peter Hand Had Handke. Uh, he's an avant-garde uh, Austrian novelist and playwright. Um, he's been awarded... Other literary prizes, including the Franz Kafka Prize in 2009. His body of work includes uh, dozens of books of fiction, uh, poetry, essays, plays. Um, he sparked controversy in the past by uh, sympathising with the Serbs in the Balkans War. Um, and he actually called the, the Nobel Prize in Literature, um, called for it to be abolished in oh. the past. And uh, He might have changed his tune today. He <laughs> said it was false canonization. so I'm not sure how to, how, how happy he'll be with this. Uh, oh, interesting. Well, I, I guess he'll be accept, accepting it anyway. Um, all right, let's uh, move on because the, um, the Nobel Committee has been under a bit of pressure to uh, seek a bit more diversity in its uh, choices, hasn't it? Exactly. Um, so these two choices, uh, Tokyo Tsuk is uh, only the 15th woman to be nominated uh, to win since 1901. Really? So perhaps still a little Goodness bit of me. catching up to do there for gender equality, although a step in the right direction. Um, uh, otherwise, uh, majority of past winners have been writing in French or English. Uh, so here we have one today, one author writing in German and one in Polish. Um, but to have a look back at the history of this prestigious prize and some of its previous previous winners, uh, here is Laurent Berstecker. Created in 1901 by Swedish chemist Alfred Nobel, the Literature Prize is given out each year to celebrate an author's entire body of work. The winner gets a diploma, a medal and 8 million Swedish kroner around 822,000 euros. Out of 115 Nobels given out so far, there have only been 15 female prize winners. In 1909, Swedish author Selma Lagerlöf was the first woman to win it. And in 1993, American writer Toni Morrison became the only black woman to receive the award. France has the most literature Nobels with 15 awards, compared to 12 for the US and 11 for the UK. Famous French winners include André Gide, François Mauriac and Albert Camus. In 1986, Nigerian author Wale Suyinka became the first African to win the award. He's one of four prize winners from the continent. In 1964, French philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre famously turned down the prize. In 2016, American songwriter Bob Dylan became the first musician to win the award, taking many people by surprise. And in 2018, a sex assault scandal involving the husband of an Academy member meant the award had to be delayed by a year. That's why they decided to crown two winners in 2019. 
All right, bit of a history there uh, of the Nobel Prize for Literature. And uh, Cathy, last year was a, a terrible year for the committee and the uh, Nobel Prize reputation overall, wasn't it? Uh, talk us through what happened with that uh, sexual misconduct scandal. Absolutely. In November 2017, the Swedish Academy, now just to pre precise, the, that's the two-century-old body that is entrusted by the Nobel Foundation to select the, the prize winners each year. Uh, they were hit by a Me Too scandal. French photographer and Swedish cultural figure Jean-Claude Arnaud uh, was accused accused and later convicted of rape. Um, he wasn't a member, but he did have close ties to the Academy because his wife, uh, Katarina Frostensen, a Swedish poet, uh, was, uh, until then, a high-profile member. Now, the rift that followed, the, the Academy was really split down the middle on how to respond to these um, accusations, and uh, the rift that followed exposed scheming, conflict of interest, um, harassment, and uh, several members were either forced out or or resigned. Um, the Academy was then forced to postpone the prize, and since then it's been under great pressure to really modernise its rules. Um, it's made some changes, including uh, altering lifetime membership rules so that so that the members could actually resign and be replaced, which couldn't happen until until recently. All oh, right. Well.